Two of us went by invitation to the Wisconsin State Fair to cover what I call the beautiful people. I call them that because I don't know what else to call them. They took us in. They trusted us. They shared their trailer with us during the brutal heat and humidity of our three days there. They gave us their time in order to share themselves with you so you could see what they do and understand them and what they do. They are intelligent people, creative, determined, reliable, hard-working. They long to be in the center of the action, even when it appears they are doing nothing. They long to add joy and interest to someone's day. That can be really hard to do in the withering heat and humidity on asphalt and concrete roads at the fair. But they are professionals, and they are intelligent, and they are creative, determined, and reliable, and hard-working. They have to make a living, but more than anything, they want to entertain, and often with some of the simplest things you might imagine. I came to love them for many reasons. These are the beautiful people. See it. When it's ready, it does this. Backyard engineering here. You think you got that? <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. You got my nose hairs? No. <laughs> Not that close up. <laughs> Basura, did you ever get in trouble See, for maybe dropping a gum wrapper out of a window when you were driving, riding along in the car? Uh, you know what? I'm not perfect. So yes, I have been known to do that. When I was younger and I didn't know any better, um, I've been known to throw some things out of my window. I do not do that now. Um, because I'll tell you why you shouldn't do that. It makes totally perfect sense. Here's the thing. Every morning you wake up, you brush your teeth, you brush your hair, and I know why you do this. It's because you have a sense of pride in who you are, right? Either that or your mom makes you, right? So you have a sense of pride in who you are, what you do. When you litter your own community, you're doing the same thing. You are showing that you do not have pride in yourself, in your community, right? So when you clean up the litter, when you do not put litter out there, it's essentially the same as brushing your hair, uh, brushing your teeth. You're just simply showing the world around you that you have pride in where you live. Okay, I never thought about that. We've got lots of students who don't understand that when you throw something away, whether or not anyone says anything about it, it really does tell something about you. It tells a lot about you. Oh, no, 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 forget about it. See, here's the thing. You have to do the right thing when no one is looking more often than when someone is looking because that's just integrity that's just it speaks to who you are if you do the right thing when there's nobody around to witness it nobody to reprimand you or compliment you uh, that's when you've got it going on well it's it's not really that big a deal if if somebody's standing around telling you yeah you did that right yeah you did that wrong if you do the right thing when nobody's gonna see it nobody's gonna know it nobody's gonna witness that's when you're smoking
Do people ever want your yo-yos? People always ask me if they can have a yo-yo, and that's actually why I have trading cards, because I don't have enough yo-yos for everybody, or really for anybody, but I'll give them all a trading card. What makes a good performance? It just has to be fun. I mean, something that's uh, engaging and keeps your interest. Do you know ahead of time how you're going to do? Well, I've had a lot of practice, so most of the time I figure it'll be at least okay. But uh, you never really know until the show starts. But does it depend on the audience's response? It depends entirely on the audience response. You can have... Uh, That's pretty serious. Yeah. Oh, are you a school I, teacher? Yes. That's my regular job. This is definitely my irregular job. <laughs> oh, okay. I teach... I teach kindergarten through fifth grade music in a Madison public school. Is a giant like you always nice? No. Well, usually. But sometimes a giant can be boring. And that's almost as bad. <laughs> What are some of the trashiest places you've ever seen? Well, I've actually been to visit the uh, Fresh Kills Landfill in Staten Island, New York, and that's uh, an incredibly trashy place because, of course, it's a landfill. Did you like it? Well, I'm not sure like is the right word. I, uh, I found it interesting because I always find trash interesting because trash is just some natural resource that a person has decided isn't valuable anymore. So that whole Fresh Kills landfill was filled with things that people had used, they had in their minds used up their utility, and so they threw them out. Right? Utility, usefulness. Their usefulness, sure, but really their usefulness was not used up. People just threw them away without realizing that they could be reused or recycled uh, in any way. People throwing away trash and garbage in their they don't realize what they're getting rid of. Uh, they have no idea. I mean, that's I've done magic tricks for 25 years with things that people have thrown away. That's why they call me Steve Trash. Ruben, where are you from? Originally San Francisco, California, but I've been in New Orleans for the past eight years. Well, then you were down there with the disasters not too long ago. Yes, sir, I was. And what happened after those disasters or during them or anything you want to tell the students? Because a lot of them are going to be learning about that. Well, we evacuated, came back and evacuated again, and pretty much still running around trying to reestablish my life. Well, we were walking around uh, watching you yesterday, and it didn't seem like you were doing anything, and the people kept coming around. What's the deal with that? I don't know. I'm just that kind of guy. And apparently this is not enough for today's fair audience. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't force it. Is it boring to hold still? It depends on the day. Um, I usually am organizing my thoughts. Um, people ask me all the time, what are you thinking about up there? And it's not, um, you know, what they think. I'm usually making a grocery list or, you know, what I need to do when I get home and um, things for the dogs and, you know, I'm organizing my day. 